Hello, BookTube. So, I realize I'm uploading videos in rapid succession right now, but it's just that things are moving along so fast in uh, my in BookTube world and in my personal uh, reading and writing life. <laughs> so that's why they're coming up in rapid succession, even though I would prefer it only to upload one video a week. Anyway, this will be my reading vlog discussing my second and last contribution to Garb August, a reading event started by Krim and Ollie. And I will be reading The Five Fingers by Gail Rivers and James Hudson. Gail Rivers is a uh, pseudonym. This book definitely screams trash. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a step back cover, but it does have a fold out cover. <laughs> See, and um, I won't uh, I won't get into the plot in this video simply because because I'm saving that for the future review. But this book will spill over. Re my reading of this book will spill over into mid to late September. So this is the this is the trash that fell out of the bin <laughs> or the trash that somebody forgot to take out. I promise you that. So <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's joking aside. Um, I will read some of the taglines on the front here. So the fold out cover says, if it's fiction, it's harrowing. If it's fact, it's terrifying. The dirtiest, deadliest mission of any war. So I'm actually interested in this book. I was even interested in reading this before, before Garb August. Uh, it's a book from uh, the library I work at. Um, it's, uh, I've been told it's based on a real life mission during the Vietnam War. This book has like 50, over 50 reviews on Goodreads. So I'm not the first to read it by any stretch. <laughs> but still, this is the one, this is the book I wanted to read and contribute for Garb August. Anyway, uh, so there you go. Uh, oh yeah, and the second tagline that uh, is on the so-called step back cover, but it's just a red, it's just a red page here. Uh, it says, their mission, assassinate 11 top-ranking Chinese and North Vietnamese leaders, including the notorious General Jia, chief of staff. Which is ironic. So assassinate 11 uh, top-ranking um, officials from the enemy. And there are seven men on the cover and the title is called the five fingers so ironically titled isn't it so this is a book about numbers <laughs> yeah dad jokes i know i know i'm lame um so yeah that's interesting why do they call why is the book called the five fingers when there are seven soldiers on the cover and there are 11 generals they have to assassinate. I don't know. So it's, it, uh, this, like I said, it screams trash. It's got the fold out cover. It's got, from what I'm told, it's got a lot of violence in here from what I read on Goodreads. Um, this book, uh, ticks off the four prompts, uh, th three of the four prompts of every week, vintage because this was published in 1978. Sex and violence, a lot of violence in this book. Anything goes, speaks for itself. And of course, the spillover extra three days after week four. I don't know if it'll, I don't know if it'll check off this week's prompt, which was um, any, uh, no, 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 uh, WTF. <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I'm gonna have to read it first to see for that, if it fulfills that prompt. But all the other weeks before, yeah, this definitely qualifies. <laughs> um, so it's got two authors. One author has a suit uh, is a pseudonym, and um, and it's a commentary on the Vietnam War. So it's contemporary issues as well uh, from the time it was published. This screams trash. 
anyway, uh, that will be my, this is the book I will be reading in the days ahead. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, I'm in the same blue room where I did my first Garbogast contribution, <laughs> the uh, Mortal Kombat book review. Uh, there will be a review for this book as well once I finish reading it. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening and goodbye.